Right, this time we use the soft coupling. It's got the safety on, unclip it. This part's called the bone and this is the loop. It's pretty simple. Peel the loop to the side and you've got the bone. Sling goes over the uh, over the bone or the uh, loop, it doesn't matter. If you've got R-series dozers, they've got the rings on the back. Um, this can thread through the holes of the rings on the ripper assembly. If we've got a toe point on the back of the dozer and we want to be using it, um, we can go around the ripper, we need to make sure there's no sharp edges on the edge of the ripper shank. So you wouldn't have it over the uh, shin guard for example. Once that's on, Goes into the pin holder. And um, there you have it, ready for it. Here we've got the soft shackle, which has got a pin, which is ideal for sharp toe, uh, toe points like this with the lugs with the square edges, which you can't put uh, fibres around. You can see we've tied the ladder up so we don't rip that off when we start the pull. They work very similar to a steel D shackle. Take the nut off, the thimble comes off. The sling goes over the thimble. And then basically, as you can see here, it's back to basically the same as an old style steel D shackle. For this case though, that comes off. We place the pin through the towing lug. Grab the thimble. Thimble goes back on. Do the nut up. Once you get the nut up tight, pulls up tight, back it off half a turn. Then you've got your sling on your soft shackle ready for pull. Right, hey guys, this is to connect to the front of a truck that's been retrofitted with a steel shackle that will be on there permanently. First, take the safety clip off. Pull the bone through the loops to open up. The loop goes through the eye of the sling, through the um, through the uh, steel shackle, and then the bone goes back through uh, the loop. Put your safety on. ready for a pole.